So in this video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite features of ESDE, which is downloading game manuals. Now, game manuals are pretty neat. Um, they essentially bring back the old days of having a manual in your hand, seeing how to play a game, seeing the history of it, those types of things. And setting it up in ESDE is really easy. So first thing you're going to do is open up the main menu, then open up Scraper. Make sure that Scrape From is set to Screen Scraper. Make sure your account settings are entered. And then in content settings, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this list, make sure that game manuals is turned on. With those settings in place, anytime you scrape a new game, if it has a manual on Screen Scraper, it'll download it behind the scenes. And where it's gonna store it is if you go into your downloaded media folder for ESDE by system, it's gonna create a folder called manuals. And in that manuals folder, it'll basically download PDF files for any game you scrape that has them. Now, one thing to keep in mind with these files is they can get pretty large. So look in the case of Road Avenger, that's about 14 megabytes. Uh, and they range in size between you know, that and, and sometimes as low as two. But if you have a large library of games, uh, this is something to watch for because these can fill up your, your storage space pretty quickly. Uh, so keeping that in mind though, you have manuals now and you want to view them. Basically, here's how you do that. On any game uh, that has a manual, you can go into the media viewer. And then in the media viewer, if it has a manual, you'll see a little um, piece of text at the bottom here that says PDF manual. Press up, and now you have the manual. And navigating the manual is pretty easy. Uh, essentially, left and right navigates by page. And then on a given page, if you want to zoom in on the text, Press the R1 button, and that zooms in by steps. So you can see here I could pretty much go pretty far. Uh, and then zooming out, obviously, you just saw me do is pressing the L1 button. And that's basically it. Now, I, I love these for a few reasons. And one of the primary ones is, like, I would just watch a video this week on hidden gems for the NES made by TechDweeb. It was an awesome video, and he talked about a game called Darkwing Duck that I'd never played before. With manuals now, I could like just showed you, I could open this up and view the instructions for how to play this game really easily. Don't have to look it up separately online. It's all directly on my device. So it's just one of the features I really love about this. Uh, so that's basically how you use manuals in ESDE. Super easy, but I want to show you something actually really fun on top of that. If you happen to own a device with multiple screens like this, so this is a Surface Duo. And this has uh, you know, basically two screens on it. This is a very silly use case, but it does work. So in this case, I have Darkwing Duck. I'm gonna press to play that. And, and a device like this, what it will typically do is open up the piece of software on another screen. And because that's happening, what I can do is on the bottom screen, I could open up the manual. And now I have my controls right there, kind of as I'm playing the game. So not a common use case, uh, I guess pretty silly overall, but fun that it works. So if you happen to have a two screen device, try this out, it should be pretty cool. All right, um, that's it for now. Hope you had a good time and uh, hope that helped. And thanks so much, talk to you soon.